Hey guys, welcome into the Poker Reborn channel. This is the game, Battle Brothers. We are finishing up Holy Carnage. Okay, so like, let's get to it. You guys all know there's been some serious animosity in this run. It's been pretty wild. We have a literal graveyard full of heroes that couldn't make it. I say heroes because at some point they probably saved other brothers that inevitably died okay you got to love and there's no that so anyways <laughs> trying to be a little clever not gonna work but the thing is guys we had a really decent run with some of the other brothers for instance Ryan the Swift Edge um, I actually love this character I never once thought of this type of build before a light polearm dodger there I've actually had a lot of requests for battle brothers that are nimble and I'm kind of surprised by it I mean uh, really in, in the hardcore world of battle brothers most people will tell you that bot do, bodge <laughs> but dodge is not a great perk it's not even that it's actually if you there's there is a a list that you can find on several different forums and stuff about what like ranking all of the abilities in order okay and this one right here is like towards the very bottom just for the fact that initiative drops so hard now they did add relentless to the game and this aspect of it has helped but still hasn't done quite quite the justice uh, there's been requests for at least 20 percent from the current initiative to melee in range defense now what legends mod did to counteract it though was go with alert so again th this build is so stinking unique I, I really loved this character he has survived through it all uh, i am beyond happy with this character i would love to finish this character out on a more positive note uh, in a different run of course but unfortunately today is the day we end this run of course we do have andrea's uh dav cool son andrea's one of the best brothers i've ever had uh especially because the resolve you know of course fatigue is so high your melee skill your 60 rank or melee defense and look at all the stuff we didn't use i mean literally oh he could have been anything he could have been anything uh 20 20 for the armor we could have it would have been better to have scrapped battle forge and gave him nimble in all honesty just because we never did upgrade this um so one of the big things I do want to get across to everybody right now, at the end of this episode, I'm going to give my synopsis of this, the newest update. And I want you guys to know, as much as it might sound like I'm complaining on a lot of things, this is just gamer feedback. You know, this is me giving my two cents into Legends Mod. Because I played so much freaking Legends Mod over this past year, and... I mean countless hours in Legends mod and I just uh, seeing it evolve which it, I mean really that's what it's done is it's it truly has evolved with an amazing uh, overwhelming amazing overwhelmingly amazing cast of people to build it that I just want to give my two cents um, and what I think could make it better uh, or just and, and a lot of this stuff might be no-brainers and stuff but I do want that to be known to you guys because as important it is to them, it is for you guys to understand too how you should handle if you decide to do certain things. Beyond that, let's see, do we have, I just want to see some of the other characters. Guido, really nice, he, he stepped in, granted his melee skills isn't that great, but, and he's still only level 6, so that's still solid. Uh, Radolf, it's too bad we couldn't go any farther with him. Emma, we didn't get very far with this ranger. Still very cool. Rhaegar. Oh, I loved Rhaegar. I, you guys all know my feelings, and I'm going to say it every single time I see a Witch Hunter. Witch Hunters are my one of my favorite classes. Um, if you get a Witch Hunter with two stars in melee, do not be afraid to pick him. Do not be afraid to put a one of these guys on the front line. They really are amazing brothers for the simple fact of what they're capable of here in Resolve. And then, of course, Claire, which we got a little later on. So there's all that. I did, as you guys saw during the gameplay here already, I gave him the, I gave Andreas the, the Great Axe because we are going to be facing 
this turd in the in the beast's mouth and he's frozen he's coming back to life and we're gonna have to put him down Andreas is obviously the one we're going in with now after we defeat this guy I'm I want to at least use the weapon once I don't know if we come over here we could go over this way or we could come out I don't know well, well let's adventure a little bit just to kind of I don't want you guys to leave on like 10 minutes of a, a video because this fight should be pretty quick but let's roll right into it Huh, who should go down ahead? Oh my goodness, there's something down there. You need to figure it out. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Where are you, frothly turd? Come to me. I will end my turn. Okay, actually, I'm... You know, I'm curious. I'm, okay, what do we got here? This is an overthought. Trust me, I, I'm, I'm fully aware of it. 3 AP, so we're gonna do this, and then beat the hell out of him. Oh, you suck, sir. You suck so hard. I'm gonna actually do that again. I don't know that I actually need to do that, but here we are. Oh, he actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you, sir, are dead. Unless you get a lucky shot. That was still a good shot. Oh, sorry. Wee! Yeah. <laughs> He's like freaking out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so besides my squealish little thing, the chosen, cho chosen, cho chosen, the chosen gasher. So I always like stopping and looking over these. I, they all range, guys. You can have really hard hitting weapons and you can have less hard hitting weapons like this one. However, what's really nice about this is remember, we have a, in comparison to weapons, the Chosen Gasher is actually really good because, while it's only 60 to 80, there is a 40, 40 to 46 damage that ignores armor. So let me just kind of break down the numbers. What is half of 60? Okay, 30. So you have to break that down a little bit more and you're at 20... Oh geez, it's going to be like 27. 27 damage ignores armor. Base base on a hit so what I'm trying to get at is once you go over a threshold you have a chance for bleed this thing will stack bleed like a boo -boo 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 beast. it's gonna be a beast and on top of that you have 133 effective against armor so this thing will be effective against armor as well yes it's not the high-end crazy damage dealer but just remember as well you know with a certain character with the stacks the stacks of what this thing can do is incredibly dangerous. What I mean by that is simply this. Let's go to perks. So if I was to, let's entertain this weapon a little more. Number one, you put this on a, a cleaver damaging brother. That's 20, or no, that's 10 bleeding damage. I gotta get to a brother with the, uh, hold on. I wanna give you the accurate information. Oh, come on. We got to have... Oh, where is... Uh, who is it? Yeah, you. You would have it. Okay, so... Okay, so it goes... Bleeding damage goes from 20... Or from 10 to 20 per turn. In terms of... You know, so you're bleeding damage at 20. Think of like an unhold, right? Unholds heal 75 each turn. You hit this thing three times at 60. It almost totally negates its healing process, okay? And you keep pounding this thing. Imagine whips, right? Whips, that's why I love whips so much. People are like, oh no, you know, bleeding isn't that great against unholds. BS, <clears throat> you have a brother with the cleaver mastery and you hit one time, that's 40, that's 40 per turn. You hit them two times, that's 80 per turn. That's already negates all that stuff. And it happens for at least two turns. Two turns worth of bleeding. Now, remember, this is multiple times that you're doing this to brothers or people that are exposed and if you do create that <clears throat> this brother can do that with this weapon because of the ignoring armor all right so now that that's out of the way now you're probably wondering well okay what about damage how are you gonna how are you gonna get that to going any higher well of course we do have certain skills here uh, like for instance killing frenzy 25 percent more you also have uh i'm looking for where is it at here? I know we got it somewhere. 
fault. I'm surprised his brother doesn't actually have the skill. Hold on. We will, I will get it for you. Right here, so double strike. If you land a strike, the second strike is plus 20 more. If you, if you miss it, it, it's wasted. Okay, what else do we have? Well, we have muscularity. 10% of your current hit points is, is added as additional damage. Okay, if that's not enough for you. Now let's, I'm pretty sure he does have this other perk here with armor. No, he does not have that perk. Oh wait, right here. Full force. Usually full force is on the is on the final tier here. But full force is another 10% of every every 10% added off of your armor. So imagine you had this, muscularity, you had killing frenzy and you had double strike. Holy crap. This thing would just it'd be it'd be stupid. You get to attack two turn two times by the way. And this gives you a, a, the idea too. You can go up to 36 again, ignoring, ignoring armor to actual bleeding or to actual health points. That's beautiful. And then the affliction against armor, you get two strikes at 79 to 106. Like, guys, it's a no-brainer. Plus, it's only 15 fatigue. That's one reason why I love these cleavers. And if you get them famed like this, even better. So, with that being said, let's actually camp real quick. Uh, what we need to do is we need to, I want this armor to be figured out. We'll go like that. And of course they're going to heal. We'll just, they'll heal. Uh, they'll heal, heal what's his face, uh, Andreas. Okay, time to get moving. So let's move out here. Maybe we come across somebody even. Okay, wow. I was not expecting that many minutes. We got here. Oh, perfect. Okay, so here we go. So, ah, that's actually really easy. If you guys know how it's been, this is not normal. What the heck? A few barbarian thralls, a few barbarian drummers, beastmaster, and an armored on hold. Not a weight on hold, of all things. All right, well, let's just do this one, then. That'll work just fine. We'll take on this army. We'll kind of do a closing on this whole company. And then also, nice. At least we're in the crevice the mountain's butt cheeks. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's how I'm gonna explain that. That makes perfect sense. Uh, besides that, guys, at the very end, we will, you know what, I'm actually gonna wait. I think we should step forward. Uh, man, I really don't want him getting the high ground, though that's my only hang up. I'm gonna go like this. Here's hoping this actually works. I, I don't know, but, but I'm going to try this here. Mm, Andreas could technically take him on. I feel like he would have no problem going, getting right in here. Yeah, his, his, yeah, we'll just go like this. And just get your shield up because who knows what's going to happen. I'm feeling, I'm very confident about Ryan here. I'll finish my thought in a second here. I just want to get everybody set up here. It's easy to get distracted. Okay. Oh, nice. Right. Perfect. Definitely cannot complain about that. Now if I... Nope. We're going to wait. Okay. Oh, what the heck? He tried running? Did you... What the heck? Okay, so the unhold tries running. He's got 10 bleed on him. And just remember, guys, when I'm talking about, because some of you might be like, okay, maybe you want me to explain. Maybe you don't. But I want to explain myself, like, why I am so stuck on the bleeding aspect of it. I th there has been so much love lost for um, bleed damage in this game. And I really just don't think it's... Okay, there we go. That was a little weird. I don't think that's fair uh, to, I don't think it's fair, not that that's like the end of the world, whatever, but this this is actually kind of telling, um, because the stacking of it, a lot of it does depend on the, the cleaver mastery, and that's just the truth, and I'm, like I said, I'm in full understanding of that, but even so, the morale checks and so on that happens is such a big deal. Back. No, we'll just... 
see if how they handle this. Yeah, they're gonna jump right in. It's all how you use it, and I think the bleeding mastery is just a awesome, awesome addition to some of the weapons that you can get now. Shot you in the arm. How are you gonna drum like that? Oh, we're missing. Oh, wow. Okay. Leave him alone. Oh, that's okay. Now we can do a little damage here. Oh, it's not your lucky day. <laughs> He's just beating the hell out of him. I love it. Love it. I am curious though with the new up or not the new update the new uh, what is it called the DLC coming out I'm very very curious I'm very curious as to how they're going to do whips nope maybe I should have stayed back I'm curious how they're gonna do whips and the reason I say is because they, they don't ever try to get rid of the weapon in your hand. And I'm almost 100% positive. To make it the most effective it can be, they need to add that that piece of the puzzle. I'll try to get around him, see if... Ooh. Oh man, that arrow just missed the neck. The jugular. Not that it matters because there's nothing there, but still... Had there been something there, trust me, it would have been nasty. Nasty. Alright, we're just, pretty much it's over here. That's fine, it's over. It's cool to see the weapon in action. It was very effective, even with some of that armor. We're not facing anything that's really a big threat. Here's the thorn whip for you. A lot of, I don't know, there's actually not many variations of whips but this is kind of a cool twist just because of the effectiveness the ignoring armor not that it does that much but if you can hit somebody enough you know you break through it's a pretty sweet it's a cool weapon or whatever it just adds more flavor all right just checking everything not that we really need to get into it too far but anyways guys so we did defeat everything we completed all the things that i wanted to complete we will give Emma a final upgrade, of course. I think she's very deserving of that, right? Just out of the completeness of her. And let's see which, what we can top her off at here. This is going to be a four, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Look at her. She's, she's awesome. Too bad we had to end. All right. So anyways... I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, you know, it's again, this is not the typical way I want to end this thing, but I do want to make, put some awareness to Battle Brothers, uh, the newest Legends mod update, and my thoughts. Uh, but before, actually, let me go back. Before I do, I, I usually give everybody a send off. So, Ryan, awesome character. I would love to have him in another playthrough. I would love to rebuild this character. I think I got super lucky with the stars in place where they were and he pretty much did a lot of it for himself of course andrea's awesome character as well you know this is a pre not a pre-built but he was destined to be really strong obviously I mean, you don't get stars four stars in these spots and how great they are without some kind of you know uh, something going your way um still we did have some other characters that are awesome but nobody have named i stopped giving people names earlier in this playthrough for the simple fact that nobody was surviving <laughs> there was it and i'll get into that part as well but while we have time let's go through the obituary of course we have uh, rohan the impal the impaler oh i say impaler uh, but the impaler this character was awesome and at only level five i think it was yeah so level five 73 for attack here there was so much promise here. I would have loved to have played this character out, and of course, it was one of my own, um, one of my own uh, subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you for giving me this this character. Let me actually get your name here, so that way I'm saying who it was. Um, so Flogehead Ryan, just so we got that out of the way. 
and Rohan, that's just who you are. Yeah, so Rohan, thank you for that character, of course. If you do want a character in the following campaigns, please let me know. Beyond that, we did have Randomless. Now, Randomless is Norian, is uh, my, my subscriber. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this character as well. Unfortunately, you literally survived five minutes. <laughs> that was kind of a sad deal. So, if you don't already know, I don't remember what episode it was, but literally he got mind-controlled and then was gutted by a caravan hand. He did nothing wrong, he didn't hurt anybody, he was just an innocent scribe who got beat to tar. And he had, look at these, he had star two stars in melee. He had a star in both melee and range defense. Like, I, I almost, I almost cussed right there. I k kid you not, <laughs> this character is amazing. On top of that, hates green skins, has a chance to come back to life. This failed us. He has a 90% chance to come back to life, and he died. Because of some bastard ca caravan hands that couldn't help us defeat some, some of the beasts that were attacking us. So, yeah, that sucks. And another thing that sucks is why did the game have Isaac? This is not how you spell Isaac. As far as I'm concerned, that's not how you spell Isaac. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Another person is Falk the Hero. Falk the Hero should have been a brother that stayed around for much longer than this. I truly had a personal bond with this character. And I think I made that known, but not nearly as much as I... I... I could have just because everything was going downhill look at all these deaths were there's nothing you we, we could really do and of course we have honda honda the civic <laughs> i just i don't even know what to say about that character just a funny name and uh ej pedal we had some good names we had some good people but it was hard to name anybody knowing that their impending uh, death was coming here's another one mark this might even been a better scribe look at this two stars and two star two stars in melee two stars in melee defense and of course one in range there's just this is just how it goes guys death happens battle brothers comes at you hard and i love that i love that this is a deep graveyard i hate how the how this playthrough has gone but i think everybody who who was faithful watching this Guys, if you are enjoying the, if you have enjoyed the content, hit the like, subscribe. There will be more content like this, except better, just better. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's gonna be better. This run was rough. This was this was not your, uh, this is not a run that you hold on to for a long time. And the reason is because of the Legends mod and what has been offered more recently. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to retire. I'm gonna read this and then we'll get into the second part of this discussion. So. Let's do that. All right. So I'm going to, just because my, my mic is a little funky, let me try to do this here. Because you guys don't know how my setup is here, but it's really hard to read from that far corner here from where I'm at. So, and excuse the dogs in the background. They're, they're having a coyote time. Your decision to retire did not come easy, neither for you nor Holy Carnage, which desperately argued for you to stay. But the time has come, and so you went. One of the mercenaries took over as head of the band, but a good fighter does not make you a great leader and the company soon dissolved. With the decline of the Holy Carnage readily obvious, Emma the Ranger departed for, from the company and returned to game hunting. Unfortunately, a hunting trip with the noblemen went awry when the Lord was gored by, in both cheeks by a boar. Uh, the hunter feeling, feeling she she be blamed shot the noble man in his guard and fled through the forest on her own she has not been seen since that's rough uh that's okay i'll give my thought on that in a second Far, the farm our uh, former farmhand guido soon left holy carnage he purchased a bit of land to the of the south out of the south and was doing quite well for himself until noble so soldiers hung him from a tree for refusing to hand over all his crops you haven't gotten a word on it from the others, but then you have your own concerns. Now you're retired and save, and your savings are running low. All right, so my thought here is, you know, if you're on a hunting trip and the clearly the noblemen saw that the Lord was gored by this boar, like he was doing something wrong. Um... Could she have saved him? Sure. But none of the noblemen did anything. So what does she do? She's like, uh, the hunter feeling 
she'd be blamed. Shot the nobleman <laughs> and his guard and fled through the forest on her own. Like, what the hell? Why would you do that? That didn't even make any sense. Like, say, hey, what the hell? Well, you shouldn't have been standing there like an idiot. <laughs> so there's that. All right, so let's go back in here real quick. Uh, so now I'm going to just give you guys my final thoughts. Thanks again. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you want to head out from here, I understand. But I do want to give my thoughts on this. And I want to explain where this, this, this campaign went wrong. Okay? So starting out, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you my... What I feel about everything, right? And I'm going to give you what I found worked and what I suggest if you're going to do it. Okay, so here's the first thing. Number one... Well, actually, all these things. I think it is a great concept, what they've done. Uh, I love the idea of the clothing. Okay, I'm, I just because I don't want to get rid of this and I have no idea why. But I love this idea of breaking stuff down and putting it together. But here's where I fail with this. Okay, the, the very first thing that I struggle with is the art. And this is really tedious, so bear with me. I am I when I look at Battle Brothers and I look at the actual gear that you get already it looks refined it looks uh, let me give this for example you see how this like how this looks this looks good part of, well let's break it down some more this is your actual a normal aesthetic butcher's apron this is how it always has looked okay but what happens is they tried taking the they took the art of this they cut made cutouts and some of it's been blown up because obviously the original size had to get a little bit bigger so it actually looked like they were wearing it. So I understand that. And this is really nitpicking, so bear with me, okay? I mean, it. when I'm playing Battle Brothers, I like to be immersed. I like to feel like it all works well together. I had gushed over many different styles like this. I love the colors of this. I like the way this looks. It just looks like it needs to be... It, it looks blurry, you know, in some of these spots. And so when you're playing and you see this, I'm so used to Battle Brothers for what it is that it throws me off. And it's it's a really dumb excuse, guys, and I understand it. This is the tedious things. I'm just getting the little things out of the way first. But this is kind of tedious. I don't I don't like the way it looks, that part of it looks. So please don't downvote. I know there's some maybe some disagreement. I understand. But I struggle with that. Not the end of the world. If they, it's stuff they can fix. They can put more color, more defining tones in there. That's fine. Whatever. But the next thing that really throws me off is the combinations. There is so many combinations. And while it's very cool, it's kind of tough. Because I get limited time to work with you guys on, on camera. And, you know, like 110 armor for 14 uh, fatigue is not terrible. But... To have to constantly switch things out and realizing, like you guys know, if, you, if you've been watching, the Gambit Sin is pointless. I mean, let's go back here. Let's break this down. I want to show you why. So you have your padded circle and you have, neg you have 5 or 55 armor for 6 fatigue. Now, for 5 more armor, you get you know you have eight you get you gain two more fatigue now why does that matter well when we stack this and we break down this extra two this is where the constant interchangeable parts come in hand when i throw the padded cir or when i get the circle and i throw the cape on here look at it i am now at 65 at eight fatigue plus one to resolve so now I'm all of a sudden a genius because I figured this out, right? No, 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 no. Because the, here's the real truth about when you add all these things together. The truth is, it goes so deep in what you can buy that it becomes a problem. You have armor that costs way too much. You can't, like, to get some of this armor, you, you either have to kill something for it, which is the best way to do it, or you have to buy it and throw thousands of a thousand to thousands the gear is way too much in price I am sure all the legends mod uh, all the all the devs that are doing this I want you to know I don't want to hate too hard on this because I understand you guys just are unraveling it's the first time you're getting it out there I completely understand that's okay 
You guys, I appreciate what you're doing. I just want you to know it's just very tough. Immersive wise and the grind makes it that much harder. Okay, now I can change things, make the economy way easier. I still have seen, I've already tested it. It is, doesn't make a huge difference. So there's that. Uh, getting the best gear is very difficult. The next thing, uh, you guys know in my other uh, campaign, of course, Greater Malice, I have that famed helmet. And it looks like a tank. So again, there has to be some reworking in size and stuff, but very cool concept. The concept is amazing. The way it's been done so far, it's, it's just not there yet. And I understand it's going to take at least two... I'm going to assume two more updates for it to finally come come forth, but I struggle with it. I can't get great gear. I'm stuck at 150. You know, 150 seems to be the high, the high hothead. Even at 180, 24 fatigue. I mean, I guess you can find. Not saying that there isn't armor that's normal, but whatever. So I'm just getting that part of the way. This is just my personal thoughts on it. The next part of it is. Whatever you guys do, do not do the scaling. The scaling is uh, over the top. I am a huge fan of difficulty. I love difficulty. I I do not like, personally for me, ultra difficulty, where I have to be calculated in every little thing. I am a very strategic person. I love strategy. Even if I fail miserably, I love coming back with an iron fist and being stronger the next time. I love that. Veteran Veteran is the best game mode, in my personal opinion, because you get those epic battles that can destroy you, but you don't have to rely on a 13% chance to win. You know? Um, it depends on what you decide to do, how you command the battlefield, how you take on the game. But with this update, this new update, it's literally the, the, the people that you face. The scaling is based off your armor. So, you guys remember earlier in this gameplay, I was like, well, I don't want to have stronger armor. I'm trying, like, I was being, I remember some, some of my viewers were like, hey, you should, you should try this and do more armor. But I'm like, guys, like, the scaling is so hard. I had, I was, <laughs> I had an elite orc, I think in the second video, second or third video. We were 25 days in, I think. 25 to 30 days in. And there was an elite orc. Uh, a warlord and some other things and I was literally I can tell you where it was at almost I'm fairly positive it was it was like over here I'm fairly positive it was in this area I can't I haven't it's been a while since I've seen it dude day 30 I mean elite orc all that crap you don't see that if you've ever played legends mod you don't see that until I mean depending on your difficulty expert you can find it at 100 days in veteran you find it like 150 to 200 just depends on where you're at the scaling was off the wall it was like you couldn't you have to remember when you're playing hey run away just run away from combat um and that's not okay that's not it's okay i like that because you should you should see fights like that but if, but you guys know, if you guys watch the series, you see every time I left town, there was stuff that you just can't, you, you cannot beat. So it put me in a restrictive spot. Now, that was tough. The scaling, take the scaling off, guys. Just take it off. Trust me when I say it. Um, just take it off. They, it has to be reworked. I can understand if it's like a 0.5 more difficulty, where you could find more champions, or you can find. You know, a random warlord with his army. That's cool. That's awesome. That's fine. I don't want to have to be able to feel like I can dominate everything. That would be it. I wouldn't even be YouTubing if that was the case because I, I hate not having difficulty. If it's too easy, what's the point of doing it? But there's a point where it just was over the top. So scaling on armor, scaling on level of characters, not okay. it just didn't work. I think it can work. It just needs reworking. But this is, if you guys do decide to do it like I did in this gameplay, here's my suggestion stay in this pocket when I found these towns I literally had no problems in here almost no problems this whole section right here because if you go so far out of town everything scales ridiculously I just stayed in here my last however many episodes just watch I stayed in here stayed over here I even went up to this Gemenstein I remember coming here we were going I think it was 
Grafenstein or whatever and Gemenstein. We went back and forth a few times. It just isn't a way to play for me. Maybe for other people, like, I want to be the very best that no one ever was to fight brigands and raiders and such. Yeah, I, I wanted to keep going with that, but I, I, I couldn't find my outlet. So, <clears throat> something to think about. If you do it, try to find your pocket. Live in that pocket until you feel comfortable to go farther. I obviously found ways to keep moving, but it's just not enough. And uh, unfortunately, it failed this playthrough. I hate telling you guys that, but it did. So, um, yeah, that's about it. My next playthrough is we're going to take off the armor. And I hope that doesn't bum some of you out. I get it. We're going to take off the armor. We're going to take off the scaling. And we're going to have a hell of a good ride until the update comes up. We are going to continue, obviously, Greater Malice. There's no reason not to continue that. Um, oh, one more thing I did want to... It's a little more criticism is the reworking of... I like that there was butchers. I like that there is miners and groups. But the two issues that I found between the two is... Miners are, well, I don't know what the hell drugs they're on, but man, they are, they are reefing it up. <laughs> they are barrier reefing that, yeah. <clears throat> and then, of course, butchers, they were easier than miners, but sometimes they come in with military cleavers, and I'm just thinking, they're butchers. Like, <laughs> this is fine. I loved it, because we could get military cleavers in our other run, left and right, which is great, but... It's just, it, I guess my Battle Brothers mindset, it's not a normal thing that you see, so it's whatever. So, anyways, with that all being said, guys, um, we will do a different run at some point. Please, guys, if you guys want a character, let me know. I'm going to get you back in the list. We're going to make more people. We're going to get it all together. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys. Either way, even if this was crazy and not, like, very linear, I still appreciate all the love and support behind this gameplay and behind this this whole thing we're doing here but that comes to a close so i hope you guys enjoyed the finale again like sub and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye, bye. that's all folks bye